There's a lady here. Oh. <laughs> She's got a tattoo. <laughs> Go and check it out. <laughs> it's a real tattoo? Okay, off you go. <laughs> All right. When I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. Alicia Zadera, Glendora. Glendora? Yes. Isn't that a magical land where there are pixies and stuff? <laughs> Didn't uh, the, the Bewitch, wasn't Bewitched uh, in the Bewitched the thing, the TV show Bewitched? There was, wasn't it Aunt Glendora or Aunt Endora? No, I think you're right. Yeah, uh, you're, from, you're from a TV show in the 1960s? <laughs> Where's Glendora? Uh, 57 to 10 freeway. <laughs> 45 minutes away. 45 minutes away? Yeah. And you came all the way here? <laughs> I see you have a tattoo. I do. On your shoulder? Yes. What is it of? Uh, flowers. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other tattoos? I do. Okay. We, can we see them? Uh, <laughs> Do you have tattoos in really scary places? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, wait a minute. Sorry for calling your places scary. <laughs> it's funny, it's not often you see a tattooed woman blush at the same time. <laughs> All right, uh, well, good news. CBS are going to send you to a restaurant. Um, if you can answer a question. Uh, what's the restaurant, Michael? Master? Master Steakhouse. Are you a vegetarian? No. <laughs> Really? I, wait, wait. <laughs> we'll what the hell? You kind of hate people because they're vegetarians. <laughs> like, oh, finally, someone who's not a vegetarian. Yeah! USA! Yeah. <laughs> there was a German couple here last night. Oh, no, one, she was from Russia, and she was a vegetarian. I know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the question is this, um, are you a vegetarian? No. Correct! <laughs> Master of Stone Guest. We'll be right back, everybody. With this amount of enthusiasm, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. <laughs> it's all downhill. From it's all downhill from here, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm excited because uh, tonight's audience is made up entirely of people who have never been to the show That's before. True. That's true. Yeah. I think 
Oh. I think one or two of them were here last night, but other than that... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I still hear that hammering. There's some hammering Yeah, yeah, there was, yeah. there was some construction going on uh, yesterday, and we heard it when the audience was giving us a rapturous applause. Yeah, yeah. And then... <laughs> are you still here? I can't hear any knocking sounds now. No, you? I can't now. I can't, no. Hey, whoever out there is pretending to be a construction worker, knock it off. N not you, village people, but everybody else. Right. Thank you. Thank I think you. the village people, like, village people watch this show, they all sit on the sofa together, all in costume. Right. It's like... <laughs> Those are my friends, man. Those are my friends. Great, great band. Yeah. <laughs> I went too far, didn't you I? Did, you did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's Friday, of course. I love Fridays. Look at my nipples. That's how you know. <laughs> I can't watch this show. That's the guy that shows his nipples. <laughs> It's all, it's all kind of hammering going on. He's flashing his nipples. I don't like this show. Oh, it's like some kind of full-on different experience I'm not comfortable with. A <laughs> uh, big movie open today. I'm very excited about Transformers Age of Extinction. You know, where they transform... Don't clap. I haven't seen it yet. So... <laughs> you know, the Transformers, they transform. Yeah. They're yeah. robots in disguise. In disguise, yeah, right. Yeah, more than meets the eye. More than meets the eye. More. More. Yeah, anyway, I don't know if this movie's going to do well. After all these World Cup games, I don't know if Americans can handle any more excitement. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I did? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Do you, know you hear about this food truck up in oh, Washington? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a new yeah. food truck opened up in Washington State, and it's serving entrees laced with, you know, with the, um, you know, the... Uh, yeah, the marijuana. Marijuana, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what these entrees are. Uh, let's play that. Let's play what the entrees are. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah. Marijuana-based dinner entrees. I'll start. Uh, macaroni and Chiba. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, Spliffin' McNuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Baked Alaska. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, roached eggs. <laughs> Stoned crabs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you could have, uh, you could have baby bong ribs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or tater pots. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know there's a, a new show premiering on Saturday night in the Learning Channel? Now, if you know anything about me, you know I'm always watching the Learning Channel. I want to learn stuff. <laughs> You're watching it right now, as a matter of fact. Am I? Yeah, there's a little monitor right there underneath the uh, camera. You're watching no, it. No, that's this show. That's oh, this is that show. Right? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, the, uh, you're not going to learn here. No. Uh, <laughs> no. That's a, I can say that word. I, no, I can't. I can say that word. You're teaching. That's a foreign word. That's a foreign word. You're, you are a racist, <laughs> man. Racist. You're racist. Racist. <laughs> hey, but there's, a, there's a new show on, yeah. on the Learning Channel, and it's, I'm not kidding, it's a new show, it's called Buying Naked, right? <laughs> and it's a reality show about nudists buying houses. <laughs> I know! I mean, it sounds great, it's, the, it, it's, the, it's like the show Flipping Out, except everybody's nude, so it should be called Flopping Out. But <laughs> why well, I think... What I think is interesting is that the real estate agents on the, the real estate agents on the show they must love it because they can always tell when their clients really excited about a house. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can see you love the kitchen. <laughs> oh, well. What, what are you pointing? Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a question? Is that? Oh, I see. <laughs> You're not a fan of this guest room? What about this den? Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, you love the den. <laughs> How could you have this? How could that be a thing? Like, nudist by... Well, we need a house we can walk around in nude in. <laughs> Different requirements from regular people. I think I might be a nudist. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd like to see that. I'd like to watch you through, the, through a window. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, 
what, the thing is about nakedness, though, you people say, oh, I want to see you naked, and then you see somebody naked, you went, oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> nakedness is one of the, it's better in a concept form, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. For most people, you know, sure. just uh, leave most of your clothes on. <laughs> I'm saying this for a friend. Right. Really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's our monologue, I guess. That's it. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, you want to do a commercial? Yeah, break? sure. Why not? All right. Sure. Sure. Tonight's program is brought to you by The Chronic Cafe, now serving sloppy joints and chicken cordon blunt. <laughs> Now, I scored a goal tonight, and I scored a goal last night, which I think puts me through to the knockout round of the World Cup. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, even though you were beaten by Germans. That was in the 80s, and I asked them to do it. I understand. <laughs> this, this is for your own pleasure. <laughs> yes, proceed with the pleasure beating. <laughs> Well, you have to come to me because I cannot move, so it's going to be hard for me. Well, I'm not coming over to you. Well, that is all part of the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I did say last night I was going to speak German tonight, didn't I? Yeah, you did. You did. Well, sir, you are then. <laughs> Technically, that's not German. That's just me pretending to be German. That's right. You speak in English with a bad German accent. That's all it is. That's all it is, yeah. And they love that. <laughs> German people travel from Leipzig to come here. That's true. In order to hear me do that in the flesh. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who spent the break adjusting his scary place. <laughs> Angeles. You ever, uh, ever been there? Yeah, Amy, yeah, Amy. You've been, uh, you've been <laughs> Sure, sure. Uh, she says, Craig, I've heard you're a Dodger fan. <laughs> Who'd you hear that from? Oh, it's on the street, man. Words out. People are talking. <laughs> People don't talk on the street in Los Angeles. They drive on the yeah, street right. in Los Angeles. <laughs> street in Los Angeles, oh, you guys are like... <laughs> Can you pixelate that? Yeah. Why don't you just pixelate one finger and leave the other one to do its dirty work? Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't you think I, uh, Andre Athier should get more playing time? Well, you see, the problem there is you got, uh, you got your outfielders and you got your outfielder available positions. Yeah, right, yeah. So... <laughs> There's your quandary that's, right that's, there. You got, the, you got too many outfielders for the job at hand. Yeah, there, there's the rub, you see. There's the rub. Isn't there's the rub the name of a place you used to go to yes, get massages? Is. Yes, it is. And what you massage would do, parlor. What, that, uh, what you would do is you'd hide one finger and you'd let the other one... <laughs> <laughs> To go there in the 80s, people were like, Hi, welcome to Wes's Rob. Yeah. Okay, so we use one finger to do this, and then the other one does the dirty work. <laughs> Massage, dirty work. This is a great club. Oh, look, Andy Warhol. <laughs> is Andy here? Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, this is from uh, Dallas in Philadelphia. That's very you said perplexing. Dallas in Philadelphia. Dallas is yeah. in Philadelphia. Uh, uh, unfortunately, Dallas seems to be some kind of amputee pigeon. Oh, okay. <laughs> this pigeon has lost its legs, but has found a way of compensating by balancing on its stomach. <laughs> That's, that's, uh, that's not coo, man, not coo. Have you ever had a balancing pigeon? Yes. Many, that's a sex thing, a balancing right. pigeon, yeah. yeah. Ooh. And now it is time for the balancing now pigeon. Now it's time. Oh, ho. <laughs> Welcome to the balancing pigeon. Yeah. Is that Andy Warhol? Is Andy Warhol here? No, no, don't no. do that again. No, don't. Well, oh, no. Uh, no, oh God. God. This finger does the massage, this one does the dirty work. Yeah. Just like a pigeon. Yeah. Uh, Dallas uh, says, uh, Craig, do you have a favorite rap artist? Oh, uh, Ice T, I'd say. Oh, no, yeah. 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 Ice T. Ice T. Ice T with body count. Ice T with body count. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Big fan of that. Because what rap artist isn't trying to capture the 52-year-old white guy demographic? <laughs> no, no, no rap artist is trying to... I can only say no. I can't move my head to make yes. <laughs> Jeff, would you like a balancing pigeon? <laughs> we'll be right back with Ice T. His latest album with his band Body Count is called Manslaughter. It's in stores now. Please welcome Ice T, everybody. Ice T. Good yeah, audience. yeah, they are very, they're highly paid professionals. <laughs> no, I haven't seen you for a while. You look good. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. You know, I'm stuck in New York on um, doing Law and Orders. We got picked up for our 16th season. 16th? <laughs> yeah, but you're back, you're back in the game, man. You were talking about it last time you were yeah. here. I was like, yeah. you going back to work? You're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we put out the new album. It's been out about a week and a half. And uh, we're going out on the uh, Rockstar Mayhem Fest starting the 5th. And, uh, you know, we doing what we do. We started that back in 1992. What, this album? No, no, the group. Uh, <laughs> the group. Say, you got to, you know, I mean, come pick it up a little, man. <laughs> the group. But, you know, it's funny because I've been on Law & Order so long that, you know, if a kid is 18, he was two years old, or she was two years old when I went on Law and Order. So they don't have any reference point to me in music. So a lot of people are like, oh, this is new thing and stuff. So I love. It's yeah, funny to me. <laughs> yeah. You you should look up some of the old music that the guy who's the cop is on Law and Order. Well, I I, I I I just was I didn't know, but I, now I'm informed that you used to be in a punk band. I did. But the difference between you and me was that you were successful and I was, <laughs> I, I was just drunk off my ass. You're the drummer. Uh, I was a drummer, yeah, yeah. That's, dope. That's, the, that's the hardest instrument to play. Well, I like to think that there are harder ones. Uh, I always figured that it was a good instrument to play because, you know, you could kind of do it drunk. <laughs> but I, then I found out you can't. <laughs> That might have had to do something with y'all's yeah, success. Yeah, a little bit. No, it's the it's the soul of the band, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. A, a band can only be as good as his drummer, and especially what we're doing with aggressive metal. The band, you know, you know, we, we're based around that drummer, and they got to be able to really play. Yeah. Are you uh, are you tough with other musicians? Are you kind of like strict with them? Because drum, I always remember getting told as a drummer, and I've talked to real drummers about this. Mm -hmm. It's like everybody always the people always yell at you for speeding up. 
Like, do you yell? Nah, nah, I don't, I don't yell at my band because I can't play any <laughs> instrument. <laughs> I can't play any instrument, so if they walk off, I'm done. So. Yeah, you, you, could, you could do a poetry slam or something. I mean, no, nah, no, nah, with this band, you know, with rap, I got a DJ, but, you know, but when I do this, I, I, I really admire, you know, musicians and people that can play instruments, and uh, I, I can... I, I write the songs because Quincy Jones said, well, you at least hum on key. So I hum and I say, do this and do that. And they, they somehow can... Is that how you, like, you come in and go, okay, here's the song. It goes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> really? Kind of like that. But no, not like that. Not that <laughs> note. <laughs> not that, no, not those notes. <laughs> well, that's where you're going wrong, clearly. You want to do mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll look out for that in the next album. I'll let you write a record. Yeah, no, no. That's no way to keep your career going. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, what's that, Coco with you tonight? Yeah, she's with me. All right, yeah, she's b backstage? Yeah, yeah. Getting she's... harassed by the crew? Coco's like my Sharon Osbourne. When I'm out, she handles all the business and keeps everything together. Because I remember I used to watch the Osbournes, and I was like, you know, Ozzy is such a great artist, but... You know, would he have a mansion if it wasn't for Sharon? It's like... Not a chance. You he, know. It, <laughs> it, like, Ozzy, Ozzy wouldn't be sucking air if it wasn't for Sharon. I mean, I, I 100%. That right. woman saved his life on countless occasions. So that's what Coco does when we're on tour. She'll have all the laminates, and she'll have a walkie-talkie, and she holds the whole thing together. Really? Yeah, definitely. She gets out there and does work. And you uh, and, and that's all uh, that all oh, that works. I mean, because when you did the reality show, mm -hmm. do you did you find like when because you were being observed so much that you started to change your behavior even when the cameras weren't there? Well, not really. The thing with reality shows is when you're entertaining people with your life, at some point you loop. At some point, people have seen everything you do. And then the reality show starts saying, well, we have to continue to entertain people. So, Ice, uh, let's put you in a shark tank or something like that. <laughs> and you're like, nah. So we did the show three seasons, and I think everybody either likes us or hates us. They know I got dogs, Spartacus and Maximus. They know I play video games. They know Coco's crazy. It's kind of like I Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just called your wife crazy on TV. Yeah, she's crazy, she's crazy. But the show is based off I Love Lucy. You know, Ice loves Coco. Right. And you know, I'm not Ricky Ricardo. I'm not, you know, a Cuban that plays Babalu. I'm a rapper that sings colors. You dig? Yeah. But and she's my wife, and she I love her to death, and she does all these harebrained things that seem how somehow work. Yeah, all the time. It, it kind of does. Mm -hmm. And then, and now you're in New York doing the uh, the Law and Order. Yes, sir. It's, uh, so you live in New York all the time? Yeah, I live in New Jersey. Um, I was born in New Jersey. New York, right? You're from New York. Yeah, the, it's the one of the more beautiful cities of New Jersey. <laughs> you got the you got the airport right there, and then the you got that that big thing where the flame shoots out. You know that thing? It's a matter of perspective. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Where you, know, you come from? There's a there's a town in New Jersey called Kearney. You know that town? K E A R N E Y, Kearney. Why should I know that town? Because it's all Scottish people. I thought you'd want to go there. <laughs> it's true. I went there, and because somebody said it's all Scottish people when I went, and it's all people like, oh, hello, welcome to Carney. More Scottish than you? Yeah, more Scottish than me. That's funny, though. Yeah, yeah. It's hey, what, what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait a minute. More Scottish than me. It's funny because, like, you know, me doing hip-hop, and, like, I meet kids that are more rap than me, and they never made a record, but when I meet them, they like, yo, son, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah. yo, word, word, bond. And I'm sitting up here in a polo shirt saying, really? That's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. So, it's, there, there's people more real ab at being you than you. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. But what happens, if, you know, if you're from Scotland, from my, this right. is what my thing is, people like to come up and go, oh, hello, Craig, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm like, why are you doing, what, are you, you're trying to teach me my accent? I had a good time, I had a good time when I was in Scotland, because, uh, you know, we did, uh, we, were, we, were real, we were right near a castle, one not time. I've you're pretty much near a castle if you're All in Scotland, time. yeah. Yeah, we, we had a good time there. You know, the fans over there are really great. So yeah, I got a lot of Scottish. They love they they really love hard rock and music over there. They, it, I remember that even when I was a kid, all the bands used to say that they loved coming up there. Yeah, you know, I, I I remade a record with Slayer uh, from one of the groups. I think it's a Scottish group called Exploited, one of their punk bands. Yeah, yeah, they were really big back yeah. in the day. Yeah. So I worked 
I, 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 they actually came to my show. So it was cool, you know, with the mohawk. Yeah, that guy with the, the yeah, yeah, I remember that. They were pretty good. See, I know some things about Yeah, you know, I've, you know. I'll... <laughs> well, how about you know, that? You're more Scottish than me. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to come back with Body Count and plays out the end of the show, right? Yeah, yeah, we, we got the band here. We're going to hit. I, I hope you all ready. Yeah, no, they'll be fine. Yeah. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. A very talented actress, uh, tall, very attractive, yeah. very, uh, very um, uh, fresh, 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 lovely, yeah. fresh, fresh, fresh. What a lovely fresh meadows, fresh fresh, meadows. like a lovely fresh meadow. Talking to her is like taking a walk in a fresh meadow. <laughs> very, she stars in *Halt and Catch Fire*, which is Sunday nights on AMC. Take a look at this. <laughs> Mackenzie Davis, everybody. Mackenzie Davis. Obsessed with Jeff, then you must say good evening to him. Hello, Jeff. Well, good evening, my dear. I love this when you're freaking. I don't oh, know what it is, yeah. but I love it. I'll do that anytime you like. <laughs> Be careful, he's a bit grabby. Uh, <laughs> What, you said he was freaking? Is that a word because that I young folks feel, use? Yeah, I guess so. I feel like when you guys go to commercial break, he's like, oh, I'm so excited. Well, we're always excited to go to a commercial break because that's where the money is, I young hear, lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, congratulations on the show. You get to cuss. Thanks, yeah. I swear up a storm. Do, no, do you do that? Do you, in your real life, are you a cusser? Oh, yeah. I just have a filthy mouth. Really? Because I don't approve of that kind no. of stuff. I was told. Before I came out, they're like, you can say this, you can say this, you can say this, but you cannot say this. And I was like, but that's my favorite. What, what, what one did they say that you can't say? Crikey. Was it? Crikey. It was not. Crikey. Oh. oh, no, it wasn't the really bad one. No, don't ever say the really bad one. That's what I heard. I'm not saying it. I'm not even alluding to it. <laughs> I know, I know you're alluding to it. And it's all right. I, I mean, but you mustn't ever no, uh, say not, it. No, not. That's just not. I, but you, do you have a... Are you cussy? Really? Honestly? Are you a cussy person? You have a mouth like a... Yeah, like a sailor oh, okay. or whatever the modern... Modern equivalent, like equivalent is. is... like a... Well, they still have sailors. Oil barge. A, an oil barge worker. <laughs> Where are you from? Canada. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait, wait. If you were real Canadians, you wouldn't have brought attention to yourself. <laughs> which, uh, which, which part of Canada are you from? I'm from Vancouver. Vancouver. That's the part with the... That's also the part... Yeah, there. <laughs> what, the... the uh, there? Yeah, yeah, it's over there, the other side of the hill. It's western, western Canada. Mm -hmm. It's just a straight shot up. You're right, okay. And don't they shoot the sh all the shows up there? They make all the TV shows up there. They do a lot of TV shows. Do yeah. you make your show up there? No. You make it down here? Make it in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. The South. The South. Mm. How are you doing down there? Really good. Yeah? I think I was supposed to be... I mean in the, the South, South, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take it as an overall I was, answer. <laughs> I wasn't like, okay, like, welcome to... The, I'll yeah. be the doctor. And go, okay, and how are you doing down there? Are you all right? It's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. As long as everything's working, take it over, that's fine. Fresh meadows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was a, it was a thing from... I saw it. It was last night's show. Um, no, it wasn't. It was five seconds ago. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> no, you get to my age, your mind the wanders a little. bleed into each other. So. Are you in therapy at all? I think you should be. No, I'd love to be. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Oh. Um, I'll be the therapist and I'll ask you oh, questions. Oh, joy, go. Well, well, well why, why, that was quite aggressive. Well, you had the, pi you had the pipe. Mm. I'm not going to talk to you without a pipe in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's very difficult to talk with a pipe in your mouth, isn't it? Um, just... Yeah. This what? Just go now. Just go now. 
<laughs> okay, well, uh, talk for a couple of minutes and then throw it in a commercial. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. That's a very nice dress, I have to say. Thank you. Yeah, it's a uh, summary. <laughs> It's summary. Are yeah. you a summary person? Do you enjoy the outdoor activities of Los Angeles? Uh, I do not live in Los Angeles. You don't? I, I don't! You, you're just here to do the show? Yeah, I flew oh. here for you. Thank you. No, thank you for having me. No, oh. thank <laughs> That was like somebody brought out a kitten. Yeah. Aww, <laughs> oh, oh, kitten, oh. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a cat? No, I, I shouldn't have animals. Why not? Do you hate them? No, I like them, but I think, um... It's not that time of your life. Yeah, I you're think that you road, should, like, you're... be worried about them when you're out of the house. And when I leave, I'm just like... Uh-oh. Or... <laughs> <laughs> She's a guest in our country! <laughs> I have taxidermied animals. I actually have a rattlesnake that looks a lot like your cat. Taxidermy? Stuffed animals? Really? Mm -hmm. Did you buy them that way, or do you... I bought them that way. Okay, good. So you, you don't buy them fresh and then get them done. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. It does matter. I'm sure it matters a great deal to the animal. Everything I have is dead. Right. <laughs> that sounded really depressing yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you have then, taxi stuffed animals? Uh, I have a, a diamondback rattlesnake that I got in Stone Mountain, Georgia, which is gorgeous and big. A, a three-legged dog found it and brought it to its owners, and they stuffed him, and then I, I bought it. I have um, an iguana who's... You like Nicolas Cage, right? I love Nicolas Cage. He's never made a bad movie. No, he's... Mm, I'm telling you. No, he's amazing. He's, he's amazing. No, and it's not in that jokey way. Like, no, 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 no. Like, if, uh, if, the, like, if you're... Uh, like, like up or and you're watching TV and you can't sleep and a Nick uh, Cage movie comes you on, surfing. you'll be like, oh, okay, good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be entertained. Beyond That's my like, and he'll dreams. be like, and there's a skull will go on fire, yeah, exactly. or you know, yeah. you'll, or he'll be the witch finder yeah, or something. Exactly. It'll be awesome. A bee mask. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I like a, you very much. <laughs> I have uh, an iguana that I got in the desert that is just horribly taxidermy. Like it looks like a psychopath did it. It's just like fishing wire that's sewed in its belly. But then it has a head, a, a steel pole running all down its back and a head that's just stuck on the steel pole and so I call him Nicolas Cage because You his call face, him Nicolas Cage? Because his face is off. Oh, face off! Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to see why you're so obsessed with Jeff now. You're, he's right in your I kind know, of... I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, more like that. That's it, sweetie. <laughs> Yeah, he, he gets a little weird sometimes. It's, okay. That's fine. Everybody gets one. Oh, good news. <laughs> Things have changed in Canada since I was last there. It's very liberal. In Canada? Yeah, people are like, yeah, come on, let's sleep together. Yeah. Yeah. They are. They're very, uh, very relaxed people. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a big goal. But it's cold. You gotta stay warm somehow, isn't it? Yeah. Well, parts of it are. You know, Vancouver's pretty warm. Oh, come on. It's a rainforest. Yeah, cold rainforest. It is a temperate, uh, rainy rainforest. It's not tropical, but it's, you know... Raining. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's... Well, it's not that cold, I guess. No, it's not that... Yeah, no, I... Do you ever watch I, House Hunters International? That's always got Canadians on it. No, oh, The Two Brothers? That's so No, no, out. no, you're... I don't know, not oh. that show, I don't There's watch There's one that. with two twin brothers where I'm like... Oh. No, I'm not gonna watch that, like, yeah. we're going to fix your house! Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> What was the... I can't tell what day it is, but you were talking about... It's Friday. <laughs> you were talking about a, a nudist colony, House Hunter? Yeah, there's yeah. a new show that they're going to make where you... Yeah, that's nuts, right? It's a real... <laughs> not I, was I, am. <laughs> I was obsessed with this reality show, because I just love that you can make a reality show out of, like, Anything. anything, yeah. And there was this one running on TLC for a while. I don't think I ever even watched it. I just loved the commercials. And it was like a bespoke brassiere shop where women just had to make bras for very large busted women. But there was like the dramas of this world. <laughs> it was so bizarre. I can't imagine why that wasn't an enormous success. <laughs> it has many of the components I'm looking for yeah. in entertainment. Yeah. Hand-tailored garments. Hand-tailored garments, large breasts, and a bit of drama. Yeah. It's like Game of Thrones. Right. <laughs> Anyway, we're out of time. Okay. Um, so, uh, you want to pretend to eat kale? No. <laughs> want to have an awkward pause? Yes. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, you're flirting with my appliance. Appliance? <laughs> yeah, he's an appliance. Yeah. Why don't you take me home and stuff me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mackenzie Davis, everybody. <laughs> Perform the title track of their album Manslaughter. Please welcome Ice Tea and Body Count, everybody. Ice Tea and Body Team body count, we gotta go. 